Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna go back. We are going back to Mac. And I started this series um, in 2018 and uploaded a few videos with the heading back to Mac and I just kind of let it go. But I really liked it and I have a, quite a bit of Mac products so I would like to continue this series and I think that maybe you guys will enjoy it too. This is a look that I came up with today. It is just a soft smoky eye with a really pretty peacock blue liner and um, it was a lot of fun. Unfortunately a lot of the products that I did use were discontinued. I was that person that when a new MAC collection came out I was at the store lined up ready to get it and I would buy probably about 80% of it. How I could afford that, I don't know because mama was definitely not balling back in the day. <laughs> so with that being said, I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope that you guys enjoy this and this look. And if you wanna see how I achieved this, then let's go. All right guys, so I'm gonna start off by taking my MAC Match Master Foundation and this is in the shade 4.0. I like to use 5.0, which you guys can see it's much emptier um, because I feel like it has more of a golden undertone, but we're going to take it back a little old school and we're actually going to contour with a cream concealer and this is in the shade NW45. So I am going to take this with my finger and just start doing that <laughs> basically I'm creating um, the contour from the back of my ear moving forward and stopping mid cheek and I'm going to take a little bit of this and just contour here okay so I'm going to take a beauty blender and well First, I'm gonna mix a little bit of this MAC Hyper Real Foundation in Rose Gold. I wanted to see if a MAC pump would work with this. And I can't find the extra one that I had. I just put a little bit, whatever's left over, I'm just gonna put it on my cheek because I hate seeing a messy container. Okay, so I'm mixing the two together and then with a the beauty blender, so with my beauty blender, I'm just pouncing this in and I'm going to hit my face where I don't have any of that darker shade yet because I don't want to get my sponge dirty. Guys, we're going to take it back today. Like, we're going back to what I was doing before I was working at Sephora. So I'm just going to now start pressing my beauty blender onto the contour shade and then bringing it forward. I'm going to take a little bit more of that foundation and I'm just going to add coverage where I need it, which is mostly my cheeks. So I go back to work this week. I've been off of work for two weeks and <laughs> I don't want to go back. I love my job. I really do love my job, but it has also been nice to be at home with my son. And while he drives me nuts sometimes, I like being at home with him. Normally, the, the situation is different. Normally, I'm like dying to go back to work because I like to work. But this time around, it's a little bit different. So I'm just blending out the contour still like wherever I see like maybe it has a little bit too much pigment still and then we're gonna touch it up a little bit I got a Bissell spot cleaner I'm gonna take the same contour shade with this brush and I'm just going to lightly touch up that contour and um, I started to clean my couch is really needed to a deep cleaning and um, so I started with the little one and then I did the rugs in the house. We have, we don't have carpet, we have rugs. 
So I did some of those and my hand is feeling it. Cause let me tell you, I went at it. I'm like, we need a good cleaning. All right guys, so I actually bought the Patrick Star powder when it came out in the red packaging and I should have read the reviews beforehand. Um, and the packaging sucked. So what I did was I emptied it out into just a clear container. And I use these for my brides. I always give them like a little bit of powder to touch up throughout the night. And I decided to empty it out because the packaging, it really just is wasteful. Like it, you lose so much product. I'm just going to take this powder and then bake under my eye. Um, but every time that you would open and close the lid, you would just see the, the cloud of powder that was just basically you're losing. I really wanted to try it. I know that there are a lot of negative reviews because you're getting less product, but I really did want to try it because I had gotten so many good reviews the first time around. And I have to say that I do like it. I don't see... I haven't used it in this way though. I've only ever used it um, just to set my entire face. And I do like it, but we'll see if the hype is real. I'm gonna go in with this Smith Cosmetics 154 brush. This is what I've been using for my powder. And we're really going to test this powder out. All right, now that I've got powder all over my blue sweater. So I'm going to be using this palette. This is the Eyeshadow uh, Times 15 Warm Neutral palette. This is what it looks like. And I had gotten this on their website some time ago. Um, I'm gonna go in with the shade. Um, and then this is a 232 by Smith and I'm just going to use this all over my lid. The next color I'm going to take is, I think it's either Saddle. Yeah, it is Saddle. I knew it was another one I really loved. I'm going to take Saddle. And I'm going to take this 228 Zoeva brush. Saddle was another color that I really loved. Saddle and Texture mm, were my go-to for a quick, easy, soft, the brown, smoky eye. So as you guys can see, I'm just rocking this back and forth. And then I'm also doing like circular motions as I'm blending this out because I do want to blend it. And the reason why I lift my eyebrows is because my eye is slightly hooded in the inner corner here. And if I don't do that, then I end up getting like streaks or it looks patchy because it isn't blending smoothly. Same thing with this eye. This one is definitely more hooded. And the skin on the inner part here is a little looser so i always have an issue with that this eye for whatever reason the skin feels like it's slightly looser that's all i need right <laughs> we're going to keep this eye super basic because we're going to go in with a colorful liner i'm debating on whether i want to go in with a shimmer but i think i should skip out and keep this look really about the liner. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna keep this this way. And I'm gonna go in with Brulee with my finger and then just really clean this up a little. Actually, let's take Saddle all over the lid. So now, since we're taking this color all over the lid, I'm using the same brush, but I'm just going to fluff that all over the lid. So I used to put saddle all over my lid and then I would go in with texture over it and then blend the two in the crease. Oh my gosh, guys, it's like the prettiest warm smoky eye in the easiest. Every time I did that look, people would be like, what is that? Oh, and I would take, um, oh, I'm trying to blank. It's my Costa Riche. Because it's my favorite liner and I would run that through the top and lower lashes and people were always like I want whatever it is you have I would sell that all the time and sunny soul uh, Always sunny uh, Eyeshadow and 
uninterrupted. Sunny Soul Blush and uh, Warm Soul were always things that I sold. And then the lip, well, lipstick was always easy. Getting people to like actually want your eye makeup. At the time, eyeshadow really wasn't as popular as it is now. People were more about the lip. So, I mean, people like shadow, but now I feel like people intentionally come looking for shadow, whereas before it was like lip. For my liner, I'm gonna be using Siahi Liner and a MAC 210. This is my favorite liner brush. This is one that I don't know if it's still the same. I haven't tried it. Um, but I'm probably gonna end up doing this off camera because I need to get really close. Let's see. This color when it first came out was limited edition and people just wanted it and MAC made it permanent so you can still get it. Yes, I am going to definitely do this off camera. I need to get super close to my mirror. And I'll come back with mascara, eyebrows, and a liner. All right, guys, I am back. So I'm going to dust off this bake. And as you guys can see, I ended up doing a winged liner. I left this on for a long time. It looks decent. So I'm going to take this mineralized skin finish, and this is in the shade medium dark natural and it has shimmer so the actual powder is gone but the highlighter is there so i'm going to use that to highlight my face i remember when i got this i loved it it was my favorite thing and i would actually mix the powder with the highlighter so i'd have this really pretty glowy finish to my face and it wasn't over the top because as you guys can see i'm going in pretty heavily because it's just so subtle. But it is a beautiful highlight. To tell you that I literally kept this because I loved how pretty this highlight was. And I could have gone in with something like an actual highlight, but when I saw this, it just took me back. For my blush, I'm gonna be using, what is this? What Worldly Wealth, one of my favorite blushes. And I'm going to use that same Smith brush. And I'm just going to use this to apply the blush, but also to chisel my face out with it. My face feels so dry right now. I know it's that powder. I've never worn it like this. Um, like I said, I've done a light dusting of it on my face. I am going to take Center of the Universe Mineralize um what is this a mineralized skin finish and i'm going to use a mac 137 brush i'm going to use this as my blush man i remember when before i worked for them whenever a new collection would come out i would go and legit buy just about the entire collection i'm going to use fix plus I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, how the hell could I have afforded that? I'm going to take this Smith Cosmetics brush. It's the number 220. And I'm going to go back in with Saddle. And I'm going to use this to smoke my lower lash line out. And now I'm going to take my Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara and I'm just going to apply that on my lower lashes. Guys, look at the definition and the length this mascara gives. I love it. I love the way this look turned out. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to take Spice Pencil and High Tea Lipstick and I'm going to line my lip with this and fill it in. All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed taking a trip back to MAC with me. Please let me know down below if there are any looks that you'd like for me to do using any MAC products. I do have quite a bit. Um, I really like the way this turned out. I'm super happy with it. Um, I love it. 
it was also fun it was really nice to just kind of go through my products and reminisce and it took me back it was really sweet so i hope you guys enjoyed this please be sure to like this video leave a comment down below letting me know if there are any mac products that you'd like for me to use in upcoming videos and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already i look forward to seeing you guys in the future and i will talk to you guys soon bye